Hey guys, just fans alike and uh, all those people. Just a random kind of video here, just thinking about, you know, like how to, how, how to, how to, you know, a lot of the stuff that we learn in chess, you know, it's like it takes a lot of time to, uh, you know, really learn stuff. And, you know, sometimes, you know, it's like we got to figure out, like, how do we teach a concept? And I feel like I want to start experimenting with my students with uh, the Queen versus, Queen and King versus Queen and King endgame, which, um, Spoiler alert is a is a guaranteed draw if both players are playing correctly. So there is no possible way to win as either side in this position. If you want to see why the queen, uh, it might be a little hard to see the queen. I have the king, uh, the king in front of the uh, queen here. Uh, let, so let's say uh, Black wants to try to check the king here. You know, you could try to like check like that. Well, the queen is guarding that one, so you probably don't want to go there. Uh, you know, maybe you can check here. It's like, alright, you know, it's like, you're kind of letting the king go more towards the center, though, but he's still on the side, so, uh, you know, uh, one way to put an end to all this is you could just cut off the king's escape route entirely. Um, obviously that queen wouldn't be there. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, the, the, uh, the first thing that I wanted to talk about was that, uh, that queen isn't putting it in check, but you could always just put the queen in front of it, right? You know, you could trade it off, but then it's king and king, which is obviously a draw still, so... Uh, you know, if you keep if you keep trying to go for it, then uh, you know black can always just uh, evade it. So uh, check here, put the queen in front of it. Check here, queen goes in front of it. Check here. You, you can just. That's why we have the 50 move rule, by the way. This would just happen forever if you just keep checking. So you know, it's like one of the, and uh, this concept in isolation is good enough to know, but also. The fact that uh, checking your your opponent's king isn't always the best move. Sometimes you can find a move involving some other uh, material or positional advantage that doesn't involve check. Uh, a lot of the times we, we, we like to think of chess as we need to checkmate our king, that means we need to check as much as possible, but it's much more subtle than that. Chess is a very subtle game. You really want to just be uh, strengthening your position as much as possible because, honestly, even the top chess players in the world, the world cha chess champion, they cannot, you know, anticipate every single position because, you know, there's, you know, more positions than there are, you know, number of seconds since the beginning of the universe. So chess is extremely complex but there are certain guidelines that we can do and, and it's kind of like a... That, that's why we... Uh, what, what, uh, it's kind of hard to uh, see because it's a board game, but chess is really a sport. You know, you're, you're when you train for sports, you know, you, you learn the strategy of the game, but knowing the strategy alone isn't uh, going to help you. You got to condition yourself. You got to train. You got to, you know, you got to do a workout. You got to stay healthy. You got to, you know, eat right. You know, all sorts of stuff. And you know, like uh, chess is no different. We're training. It's a mind sport. We're training our mind to think in different ways, is really what chess is. It's training your mind to be dynamic, to say, you know, I thought this was true, but looking here at the board, it looks like I cannot win the game. I have a queen, but so does my opponent. They have the exact same uh, material advantage, which um, sometimes the material advantage doesn't matter if there's a position, but the power of the queen is that, you know, she can move as a bishop or a rook at any time, so unless your opponent just gives you a queen for no reason. You know, now this is a one game end game for white. You know, you uh, you learn these little end games and and you know how to get to them. Uh then you'll it it influences how you play in the middle game and in the opening. Uh The thing is that you know, your opponent's going to be constantly adjusting every single time you move and that's how it should be. Your opponent's going to be adjusting, you should be adjusting to your opponent. I know, I've met a lot of players, especially a lot of new players. They'll figure out a little pet opening that they just like, and you know, they move the first uh, ten or uh, three or four pieces the same every single game, no matter who they're playing against, no matter what their opponent. And another fallacy about chess is it doesn't matter who your opponent is; it matters how strong your opponent is. So even if they're world champion or you know, a kindergartner, if they play the right moves, it's the right move. It doesn't matter. That's how chess works. That's that's the, one of the beauties of the game, and that's you know, 
It has nothing to do with your age, with you know where your background, you come from. The only thing that chess has, chess uh, strength is determined by is by your own chess strength, which a lot of us are trying to improve. And uh, believe it or not, so uh, <laughs> chess can be improved if you work hard enough. You have to find what works uh, to help your brain learn these little triggers. Uh, a lot of them are common to a lot of people, so we have pedagogy in chess that's been going on for uh, several hundred years, and we're still evolving today. Now we have AI to teach us new things, to show us things that we once thought were freaking impossible to learn. Anyway, I'll see you later.